Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Customizing management reports in QuickBooks Online is different from customizing the standard reports. To customize a management report in QuickBooks Online, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. Then click the Management Reports tab in the page that opens to the right to view the management reports. To create a copy of a management report template to edit so you can preserve the existing management report templates, which is recommended, click the drop down in the action column of the management report template to use as the basis for your new custom management report template in this list. Then select the copy command from the drop down menu to create a copy of the management report. To then customize the copy of the management report you created, Click the drop down in the action column of the copy of the management report. Then select the edit command from the drop down menu to open the management report window. To rename the management template copy, type a new name into the template name field in the upper left corner of this window. To set the default reporting period, select a choice from the report period drop down in the upper right corner of the window. Icons for the different sections of this management report template appear in a list at the left side of this window. The icons for the sections are Cover Page, Table of Contents, Preliminary Pages, Reports, and EndNotes. Clicking these icons shows their section customization settings to the right. The toolbar at the bottom of the window contains buttons you use to manage the custom management report template. To customize the cover page, click the cover page icon at the left side of the window to show its settings to the right. To choose a cover style, click the cover style drop down and select a style from the menu of styles shown. The currently selected company logo chosen in the account and settings window appears to the right in the logo area. To hide the logo in the report, click the drop down arrow on the logo setting and then uncheck the show logo checkbox. Then click into the area surrounding the logo setting to retract the menu and show the change in the preview to the right. To change the text shown on the cover page, edit the desired values in the cover title, subtitle, report period, prepared by, prepared date, and disclaimer fields. To hide the field content from the report, simply delete the field's content. A preview of the report's cover page appears to the right to instantly show the changes you make. To customize the table of contents, click the table of contents icon at the left side of the window to show its settings to the right. To include or exclude the table of contents, check or uncheck the Include Table of Contents checkbox. If included to rename the page, change the Page Title field. The names of any reports included within the Reports section appear in the Page Content Preview section. To customize the report's preliminary pages, click the Preliminary Pages icon at the left side of the window to show its settings to the right. To include or exclude a preliminary page, check or uncheck the Include This Page checkbox. If included, to change the page's title and content, type it into the Page Title and Page Content fields. The Page Content field also contains a toolbar at the top of it you can use to edit content, apply common formatting choices, or insert company data fields. Preliminary pages often contain additional information about the reports or the company. To add additional preliminary pages, click the Add New Page link at the bottom of the current page, and then repeat the process of adding content to it. To delete a page you added, Click the trash can icon in its upper right corner. To change the reports contained within the management report, click the reports icon at the left side of the window to show its settings to the right. To remove an existing report from this list, click the pencil icon to the right of the reports row to show the report's details. Then click the trash can icon that appears in the upper right corner of the reports details section. Alternatively, to edit the report's details, change the fields and settings in the report's details section. 
To change the report's title or reporting period, type a new title into the title field or select a new period from the period dropdown. If available, to compare the period to the previous year or period, check the Compare Previous Year and or Compare Previous Period checkboxes as needed. To add a new report, click the Add New Report link in the list of reports to add a new report details section to the list of reports. Then select the report's name from the Select Report dropdown and set any additional reporting settings available for the selected report as needed. Any reports within this report list also appear within the Table of Contents if you choose to show a Table of Contents in the Management Report. To customize the End Notes of the report, click the End Notes icon at the left side of the window to show its settings to the right. End Notes often include a closing page with a breakdown of subaccounts. To include or exclude end notes, check or uncheck the Include This Page checkbox. To also include a breakdown of subaccounts, check the Include Breakdown of Subaccounts checkbox. Doing this then creates a schedule that lists any subaccounts for line items in your reports when you preview the report. To edit the page's title or contents, change the Page Title or Page Content fields. The Page Content field also contains a toolbar at the top of it you can use to edit content, apply common formatting choices, or insert company data fields. To save your changes to the Management Report template, click the Save button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. Alternatively, if needed, to cancel your changes, click the Cancel button in the toolbar. To preview or print the Management Report, Click the Print or Preview button in the toolbar to open the report in a Print Preview window. You can then print or download the report in the Print Preview window as usual. To show Advanced Management Report options, click the Advanced button in the toolbar to open a small window. To change the Company Name Fields value if you inserted that field value within this report and want it to differ from its default value, Type the value into the field next to the Company Name label in the Fields section. To add custom information to the header and or footer of the Management Report pages, type the text into the Header and or Footer field. To insert a data field into your Insertion Cursors location in either field when editing it, click the Fields button at the right end of the Header or Footer field when editing it, and then select the data field to insert from the drop-down menu. To show only non-zero rows and columns in the report, check the Show Only Non-Zero Rows and Columns checkbox. To save your advanced options and close the window, click the OK button in this window when finished. At the right end of the toolbar, at the bottom of the window, is a drop-down button with Save and Close as its default setting, which you can click to save your changes and close the window. Alternatively, clicking the drop-down arrow on this button shows the other Management Report command options, which include the Save As, Export as DOCX, Export as PDF, and Send Commands. Note that these are also commands that you can select from the Management Reports Action Columns dropdown in the list of Management Reports in the Management Reports page. To save the report as a Word document, choose the Export as DOCX command. To save the report as a PDF, choose the Export as PDF command. To open an Email Management Report window that lets you address and create an email to send the report, Choose the Send command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.